Hi, I'm Aimon, and welcome back to one of my videos. And welcome back to another video in our journey of converting our patio to a sunroof. And today we're going to be doing our video on framing, or continuing it, I guess, because in our last video we did talk about framing. In this video, I'm going to show you how we decided to build our frame for our patio. Uh, and later in this video, me and my brother Izami are going to install this frame, actually this frame, because it's already completed, into the patio. So there's a lot of considerations to keep in mind when you're building a or converting a patio into a sunroom, especially in our case. You have to keep in mind the building codes. So we looked online for the building codes and a rough idea of what we should, uh, a rough template of what we should try to build. And through this, we also have to incorporate a lot of civil engineering knowledge about terms in, uh, in wood frames. So I'm going to just try to give it my best. Uh, Actually, I don't have the diagrams right now, but my, my dad, oh, so this is the diagrams of the frames. And as you can see, my dad planned it out pretty well. Although he's not a master uh, of like, he's not a civil engineer, but he can do pretty much anything. We actually took this off of our, our, our wall in the dining room. So this just comes out of nowhere, but I, he can build anything. He built a chicken coop and now he's going to build a patio. Uh, he can't fix anything, that's wrong. Or, I guess he doesn't want to fix anything. Like, we have a ton of patio chairs that need to be fixed. But he is open 24 hours, uh, of a day, so... I, he is definitely the best dad. I'm not just saying that because he's the cameraman. Uh, but anyway, going back to talking about the frame. Uh, I'm going to be using a bit of terminology from this paper as well. But this is the whole frame that we have for our patio. We have three of these because there are three openings in the patio that we need to install it into. They're all different sizes. They all have very minute differences between them. So we have to account for them when we're building them, uh, which you won't see uh, in this big macro scale, but trust me, we have to account for all of them. Anyway, so here we have the first, I guess the, the this is the sole plate. This is the king stud, these long studs right here are called the king studs because they're the main studs the main vertical studs that are on this uh wood frame at the top we have the uh the top plate and finally we get into the smaller details of the frame first we have the window they call this the rough opening on the diagram uh this window opening is actually 36 by 24 which is exactly the size we need for our glass panes, which are 36 by 24. Above our, our above our window, we need to have a header. A header looks like this. It's it's not horizontal, it's vertical. And usually we have a a double header. So that the reason why is because if you have a window and you, you put a roof on top of it, then you don't want that roof to be collapsing onto the window, which isn't gonna be able to support the roof. You want to have some support on top of the window that doesn't collapse on the window. So that's the purpose of the header. We also have jack studs right here. These are the uh, these are the jack studs. These are the minor studs and they go under the window. And I guess the difference between the, the king and the jack stud is that the king ones are longer and have a more important role in structural and jack studs are smaller and focus on the more minute details. All right, so the plan is to install these frames and right now what we could do is we could have everything uh set in place to go which means that we have everything nailed in but when my dad builds stuff he usually builds it with the with the foresight or is that hindsight that that he's going to have to do things alone which means that when he needs to carry things he needs to make sure that they're as light as possible so that means he designed this frame with the intention that he's going to have to carry it by himself, which means that we can get rid of some of the parts so that it's lighter. Actually, no, this is the wrong way to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to knock out all the jack studs, and then we're going to call my brother Azami here to uh, help out. Because we're going to put this into that wall. So I'll see you in a bit. So 
We're down. Four more to go. You gotta remember, when you're carrying wood, it might not seem that heavy, but a lot, a little, a lot of wood, or a little weight, can quickly add up if you're doing a lot of wood. So these four studs, these eight studs, even though they might not look like a lot, is getting rid of a significant amount of weight. Let's get us on it. Actually, I'm, uh, I'm curious if I can carry this by myself. Uh, I might be a bit cold right now, but we'll see. Oh, wait, actually, wait, let's get, this, let's get this thumbnail. Actually, no, we'll get the thumbnail for Zami. But before we install it, oh, hey, Zami. Hello, I am here. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Before we install it, we're going to take out the uh the railing so while i take out the railing uh if you don't know azami is actually more of an electrical engineer at mit so he's not quite a civil engineer or mechanical engineer like i am but he definitely has some experience dealing with engineering i don't want to put that there i'll put it and Right now, what we're going to do is get rid of this railing. It's actually pretty nice. I wish we had done this earlier so that we could install it in our playground. Because uh, instead of using uh, this lattice structure, we used we just made our own fence. But since we're getting rid of this, uh, actually, since we're taking this out, we might as well use it in a different project, right? Is it cold, Zami? No. <laughs> Zami's a trooper. Kind of weird, Zami. You gonna you gonna let me do this by myself? Yeah. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> All right. So now, Zami's gonna help me lift this frame into place, even though I can do it by myself, not to flex or anything. But the way we're gonna do this is first we're going to get it into the general hole that it needs to be in and then we're going to knock it into place we're going to we're going to nail a piece of wood to the side of it so that we can knock it into place on one side and then we're going to take the nail out you'll see what i'm talking about though all right so the way this needs to go is you need, you need to do this on the outside right so we're going to lift this over Looks like we're going this way. Okay. I have to go in. Right? Okay. Hold on. So I'm frozen solid right now, so I have to use my my body for some leverage, but right now. Wait. Ah. All right, lower it gently. Does it fit? Where's the hammer? All right, so is that you want to explain? No. Okay, we just inserted it from the top, and all we have to do now is knock it in place with this hammer. And if you want to make sure that it aligns correctly, what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of wood, put it on the outside, then knock it back in. And then the piece of wood will stop it from going too far. So, this is going to be a bit hard. Alright, so we have to make a few adjustments because, like I was talking about before, uh, these walls are a bit crooked, so I think it's about 20 minutes since the last clip and we finally got it in. We just had to sand and cut off a little bit and we also had these uh, a sledgehammer to knock it in. But finally, as you can see, it's somewhat inside the frame. So we're going to finish uh, putting it, uh, knocking it in flush 
And then we're going to continue this video tomorrow. Whew. Nice job, Blind. Yes. Hey, let's go. Alright, so I hate to cut it short, but it's getting dark right now. And tomorrow, I, I actually can't do a video because I'm doing something else that day because of school. So, I, and I don't want to slow my dad down while he's working on the patio. So, we're going to cut off the video right here. I'm glad that Zombie was able to come onto the show because he's going off to MIT soon. Because the. You want to tell them about that? Huh? So, he's going off to MIT soon because the, the pandemic uh, uh, quarantine is starting to come to an end. So eventually he's not gonna be in some of our videos. He might return during the summer, but that's that's in a while. So for now, I'm my one. I'm a zombie. And thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, look at our videos on I'm Iman, especially the patio videos and the videos uh, that include a zombie. And we'll see you there. But for now, uh, do I have to, should I repeat myself? I'm Ayman, I'm Zami, and thanks for watching. Signing out. Peace. Uh-huh. I'll hit there, I